Taver Mountain, 562 meters above sea level and 400 meters above the surrounding area. Prominent in the area and special due to its round shape. The mountain was formed as part of the sub-rift of the Syrian-African Rift. The fractures on its sides and the pressure created in the Earth's crust, led to its rise, a geological phenomenon called Horst. The mountain is covered with many species of plants, with animals and in the past bears were also seen on it. The name Taver is mentioned in the Bible, its origin is unknown. Perhaps it is due to its shape reminiscent of a navel, or from the Aramaic word tor meaning mountain. Throughout history the place has been a crossroads. The mountain was a border point between the tribes of Israel Naphtali, Issachar and Zebulun, at the time of the division of the land. In the days of the second temple, at the top of the mountain, beacons were lit to announce the sanctification of the month. In the great revolt of the Jews against the Romans, they fortified the mountain. The Romans promised the besieged Jews not to harm them, but in the end the Romans killed them. In the New Testament a mountain is mentioned where Jesus underwent change. Moses and Elijah were revealed to him and it is written, and a voice from the cloud said, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. The Christians attributed Mount Tabor to that mountain, and because of its great importance churches were built at the top of the mountain. The Crusaders built a fortress, over the years churches were destroyed and built, because rulers were changed several times in the Crusader and Muslim wars, the Mamluks led by Bibars conquered and destroyed everything. At the foot of Mount Tabor, between the mountains of Nazareth, during the time of the Turks, the Arab village of Dabiria was there, named after an ancient Jewish settlement called Dovrat. Today in Dabiria live more than 10,000 inhabitants. The Bedouin tribes of Arab Azabi and Shibli also lived at the foot of the mountain. The village of Taver, established in 1901 as Moshava, by the second generation of members of the first Aliyah was initially named Mesaha, after the place where Arabs had lived decades earlier. There were problems of theft by the Bedouin from the Azabi tribe, and the guard was transferred from the Arabs to the Hashomer organization. Mashiv Shadmat Devora was established in 1937 as part of the Homa and Migdal settlements. In the 1940s, Umm al Anam was inhabited by Bedouin from the Saida tribe who came from the Yoknam area. In 1946, the village of Kish was established in the name of Frederick Kish, who was a Zionist activist. It was built on land purchased from the nearby village of Netzer from the Zoabi family. During the War of Independence, the members of the Azabi tribe were expelled, and the members of the Shibli tribe remained thanks to the good relations with the Jews. The Kibbutzim Ein Dor and Gazik were built by members of Hashomer Hatzer. Today at the top of the mountain there are newer churches and a monastery.